live at Cape Kennedy, where a huge crowd has gathered in the celebration of the 100th launch of the Space Shuttle program. The two commanders of the Atlantis shuttle are Captain Brian Dunaway and his pilot, Tom Nikolai. As you can see, the shuttle is resting peacefully before its dynamic awakening. Early in the week, my crew and I went inside NASA to see what an astronaut really goes through before a launch. Roll the tape. Very good, very good. Okay, next please. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Uh, how about one more? I don't think I got that last one too good. Okay, good, good. A little higher, look up this way. It's right about here, and... Oh, it's looking good. One way, I don't think I got that last one. Let me try to get this one in one more time. Here we go. Stand very still. And now don't move, don't flinch. All right, looks nice. Next, please. Uh, it's kind of tight. As you can see, it's a great amount of physical strain for the astronauts. Ah. Oh my gosh! Ah. Ah. Look at that! Incredible! Ah. Incredible! Ah. Oh my! I hope you enjoyed the tape. Well, I'm getting a signal. We're going to switch over to the observatory program that is already in progress. NASA Live, where Captain Dunaway is about to step out on the ceremony platform. And here he comes, everyone. The crowd is going wild. Incredible. They love him. Gentlemen, the pilot Tom Mikolai will be stepping out on the platform any moment now. There he is. The cloud crowds love them. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed that George Bush, the President of the United States, has just walked out on the stage. The United States has just walked out on the stage. To every man his chance, to every man regardless of his birth, tonight let us renew our devotion to the vision of America's future. That just about does it for tonight. I'm Douglas McCarthy in Cape Canaveral, and you've been watching Channel 7. Good night. Thank you for watching Channel 7 News. Join us at 6 tomorrow morning for full coverage. Good morning, everyone. In about one hour, the Atlantis shuttle... Shot of it? Okay. This will make the 100th launch for the United States space program, and it will only be manned by two astronauts. And two odd ones they are. Here's a pre-tape earlier of me talking to the captain and the pilot of the Atlantis shuttle. Before they're on their way in the cargo bay door to prepare themselves for the launch of the century. Hello there, you are the captain of the shuttle and are you ready for this great victory and uh, can you tell us a couple of words about it? This is going to be a very good experience and an adventure more than a victory. Uh, I think if we make it back alive it'll be a victory. Uh, it's pretty ex extraordinary that uh, we, we got to be the, the last people. That's great. That's great. And would you like to say a couple of words to anybody out there in the audience, pilot? I'd like to say bye to my wife, Nellie, my dog, Sparky, and my goldfish, Pluto. That's great. Well, I hear them getting ready to call you out there, so I'll mission here. So, uh, all right, thanks, they're right about, about ready to leave and uh, board on the shuttle, and I'll be viewing it down. Uh... We keep you posted throughout the hour on the mission. We are now going to switch over to NASA's viewing monitors where you can watch what the professional launch control people see before and during a launch. All right there, gentlemen, are you, uh, this is your control tower commander. Uh, Captain, will you please put your headset on? All right. Has everything comfortable, gentlemen? Uh, yes, this is my Captain uh, Brian, and uh, well, what's your name? I'm Commander Steve Gordon, and I'll be your control tower uh, 
Commander at the time. So, and uh, the pilot all uh, buckled in all right? All uh, right, sir. Okay, hold for a uh, three-minute countdown. We'll be uh, blasting off hopefully in 30 minutes. So we'll be uh, back 30 with minutes you. or 30 seconds, sir? No, 30 minutes. We have to wait on the uh, launch pad here for 30 minutes. So we'll be back with you in a couple minutes. Yeah, okay. What, what do you think the moon is like? Oh, I don't know. What time is it anyways? <laughs> gotta get going. Ah, so... How's your face? Mm. Feels nicely. How are your legs feeling? Well, got a little bit better now. I think we passed the test. And we'd be going through to them back. I can't handle that. Well, she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming on the mountain when she comes. She'll be riding six white doggies. She'll be one. Do you have to sing that song? Can you sing something else? Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. My rosy, pop tickle the rosy. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Dumpty back together again. Humpty Dumpty. Mary had a little laugh, little laugh. Mary Are we ready to go yet? Laugh. Yes, I asked you if we're going to take off now. Well, you just asked your lucky question of the day. Fifteen. Twelve. 